Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having blessed, blessed morning. Hallelujah. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. Oh, Father God, we just come to you this morning, Father God, just thanking you for who you are and whose we are, Father God. Father God, I pray for everybody that's when the sound of my voice, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you just help them spiritually, emotionally, financially, Father God, physically. Bless them, Father God. Keep them, Father God from the evil ones in this world, Father God. Protect them, Father God. Protect their family. I'll plead the blood of Jesus over everybody that's on this line that will hear this in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you, God. We give you honor. We give you praise. Let us always seal it in the precious blood of the Lamb by saying amen, amen, amen. Well, I want to come to you this morning because when I got up, God woke me up about maybe four or five. I don't even remember. But this is what was going on. God said, Deanna, you have to tell them what's being, what's happening. If you look at my title, it says the supernatural power that is used by Satan. Now, you know, the power of God is the anointing. Now you have to understand it's supernatural though. So it's also supernatural for them to use what they use, which is witchcraft. So I'm going to try to walk this thing out. And the reason why God wanted me to do this is this is what they're using in the world today, whether you like it or not. It's powers, it's supernatural powers used by humans to actually um, try to do a chain of events, to change people, to taint people, you know, and, and you have to take it seriously. And, you know, the old feebles used to say, well, if you don't believe and it won't hurt you, that's a lie before, that's, that's a lie, that's a lie before God. Let me tell you something. You have to ask God to keep you. That's why he says, confess me as your Lord and Savior. We cannot fight in this world without the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But I'm going to walk this thing through. But I got to tell you why I, I, I'm doing this. I want y'all to watch it through Facebook. There's a lot of Africans. There's a lot of different cultures. And this is what they try to do. They try to put fear in you so that you would send them money. Now, this is what this, this, this demon did this morning. He going to say, um, I command blessings over your life. I see blessings. Then he going to try to put fear. He going to try to say, um, there's a demon trying to eat up your finances. I come, I will, I rebuke that so quick. God told me that's what people are using these days. Fear got y'all paying. You, you ain't supposed to pay for no blessing. Oh, I'm about to walk this thing. out. I know it's early. Walk with me. We're not supposed to pay for no blessings. The salvation was already there through the cross, through the redemption. He redeemed us. So you ain't got to pay for nothing because God said, I already did it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Quit letting people manipulate you. Even in the church. Let me tell you how it's supposed to be. And, and y'all not going to like this. When he says, bring in all ye tithes and offerings, notice what he said, tithes and offerings. Did you know in the tabernacle days, it was, the tithes were more than money. You understand what I'm saying? So yes, we need money to pay bills and, and of course to do the assignments that God have caused us to do, but this is how it's supposed to go. You give what God tell you to give. And that's it. You're not supposed to let a person manipulate you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, or put fear. And that's what's happening. The enemy is using fear in this hour like never before. I'm talking about fear in the supernatural. But let me walk this thing out. Let me go ahead and walk this thing out. Y'all going to see what I'm saying in a minute. So my title, you already know what the title is. So let's talk about what witchcraft is. It's a noun. It's the practice of magic, especially black magic, the use of spells. Children and goods. Now listen to this now. Children and goods were believed to be vulnerable to the witchcraft of jealous neighbors. Y'all wonder why these kids are getting missing. Y'all not going to like this, but it's true. You know they're sacrificing them. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to walk this thing out, so let me slow myself down because I get excited when people get knowledge from the Word of God, from the Spirit of God. I'm just a vessel. Come on, somebody. Let me tell you something. They're, the reason why they do sacrifices is because they're trying to recreate everything begins with the blood and ends with the blood. He tries to recreate everything that Jesus Christ did. <coughs> 
excuse me, he's try, he tries to recreate it. So that's why they sacrifice children. That's why they sacrifice people because there has to be a shed of blood. You understand what's happening here? So just like Jesus blood was shed, that's what he tries to do. And he gets people to sacrifice people trying to reincarnate. You understand what Jesus did, which cannot be done, but these fools think it can be done because they actually serve Satan. You know, just like we serve God, we believe in the anointing of God. We believe Leave the power of God. Well, so do they. You understand? That's why it's a fight for souls. Well, let me go ahead and continue this. It says sorcery, black magic. In a modern context, religious practice involving magic and affinity with nature, usually with a pagan tradition, bewitching or fascinating attach, attraction or charm. That's why these um, stars, you, you know how they recreate themselves? The, and, and I'm not trying to attack anybody, but I'm going to walk this thing too. Let me tell you something. That's why they call it makeup. Makeup is just makeup on your face. Whenever you use attachments, you are trying to fascinate a person with the attraction of who you are. That's why all those stars look good. They wear tons of makeup. They add body parts. Y'all know what's going on. Come on. Come on now. But we're going to walk this thing up. What does witchcraft mean? The definition of witchcraft it is the use of sorcery or magic communication. I need y'all to look at me and listen to this. I'm sorry. Y'all can't see me, but you know, I'm getting into it. Communication with the devil or a familiar spirit. That's why the medians that be on TV talking about, Oh, I'm talking to my dead relatives and no, no, you're talking to a demon communication, uh, irresistible. Notice they said irresistible influence or fascination. That's why some people get so fascinated with this stuff because it's a spirit. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. I'm gonna walk this thing out. What is the meaning of witchcraft and sorcery? Witchcraft and sorcery are almost identical terms as both use the magic spells, mystical and paranormal means to harness occult forces to produce desired results. That's why so people use magic, just to be honest with you, and witchcraft. It's like they're praying to God. And believe it or not, some Christians even do this. They call it Christian witchcraft because of the fact this is what they want to do. Well, God is taking too long. So I'm going to um, go to the devil and ask the devil to help me. And that's pretty much what they're doing, just in layman's term. Somehow the term sorcery is used projectively to donate Donate, do not, I'm sorry, denote the use of supernatural powers to produce unnatural and negative course of events. So they always trying to do something, you know, um, and, and I'm, I got to tell y'all what does say the Lord. It doesn't matter who believes or whatever. You go to God. That's what I say. Um, y'all wondering why people are killing people. I ask God, I say, God, how is it that these people that are killing these people they have no recollection. It's, it's like they didn't even know they did it. I truly believe that these people are actually being chipped or with MK Ultra, MLK Ultra. What am I saying? Mind altering. If you have witchcraft on you, you don't know what you're doing. Until maybe after the enemy use you. Y'all ain't ready for me. I know it sounds crazy. Did you know that it's illegal in South Africa? Now, why would they make it illegal? Because guess what? It really works. You understand? Because remember, the devil is real. So the witchcraft suppression of Act 3 of 1957 is an act of the Parliament of South Africa that prohibits various activities related to witchcraft. Now, why would they actually make it illegal? Because it it, it was just too much going on. Witch smelling. Y'all know y'all can smell demons, right? They smell very... um. I'm not trying to be derogatory, but it smells like you passed gas or something like that. You know, and you'll look at somebody, hey, did you do something? No. M maybe a demon have entered in the room. Have you ever smelled that foul smell? And that ironically, on the other side of that, I've smelled roses and a beautiful scent. And I say, oh, my God, that must be the Holy Spirit. So I'm trying to teach y'all this morning some things. So anyway, it is based on the Witchcraft Suppression Act. Act. It's an act, not 1895, of the Cape Colony, which was turned based off the Witchcraft Act of 1735. This stuff been since the beginning of time. And people think this is a game. You're just trying to live your little normal lives. Can I tell you something? That's why people are getting angry. I truly believe, and I'm telling you what God says, they have prayed over everything. That's why I tell you, pray over your drink, pray over your food, pray over everything. They control everything. What you think is happening? Oh, <laughs> y'all ain't ready for me. Oh, y'all ain't ready this morning. Let's keep going. Witchcraft. 
witchcraft or witchery is the practice of magical skills and abilities. Come on, somebody. Belief in witchcraft is often present. I want y'all to look at this within societies. You know those secret societies? Yeah, y'all understand what I'm saying. The fraternities, sororities. I know y'all don't want to hear that this morning. Those that are involved, but it's the truth. And groups whose cultural framework includes a magical world view. Point blank in the story. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But I'm going to walk this thing out. I have to. I think I'm finished with this part. So I got to go to the other slide. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Golly. Okay. Don't worry. I'm coming. Okay. So. All right. So I want to actually get some more. I'm, I have a lot of reading. So you'll have to excuse me. But I have to walk this thing out the way God want me to. Okay. So witchcraft. It's the meaning and the use of words. Now, I'm going to go into biblical usage. About it's common elements in witchcraft, ancient oriental magic. So it doesn't matter what nationality you are. Witchcraft is everywhere. It's widespread and persecution of witchcraft. Now, did you know back in the day that you remember how they would actually kill the witches? So my thing is this. If this was against the biblical principles back in the day, why isn't it today? You remember in the medieval times? Well, anyway, I have a lot of, uh, I'm not going to read all this stuff, but I have to read the most important thing. The meaning and the use of the word. The word which seems to denote and one that knows it is history, most masculine and feminine. That means, guess what? A witch or a warlock. End of story. It talks about the Wicca and the wizards. Um, it talks about, says that they never heard an uneducated person speak of wizard when it is used by it denotes a person who does the work of a witch. Shakespeare often uses witch of a, of a male. So, but we call them, um, warlocks, right? Also, they talk about the witch and also it says Acts 8, 9, Simon Magus, which is called a witch. So even in the 13th century, the word witch had become more even of a man, but now, of course, we we have grown where we call them witches and warlocks. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me walk this thing up. Now, the biblical uses. Now, you ain't going to be able to read all this small stuff, y'all, but I'm trying to read it for you. Exodus twenty two eighteen says, Thou should not suffer a witch to live. Point blank. Now, it also talks about sorcery. The Hebrew word in both cases are kapash, denoting the practice of magical article skills. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And the phrase, notice they always have the movies, The Witch of Indoor, which means literature, common parlance, practice in the English Bible, believe it or not. And it talks about when rendering and who is a mistress of a ghost. Do you know why they have succubus and incubus, the demons? Y'all understand what's happening there? So all this is just real and Actually, all of it is demonic. It also has the word familiar, which is the word witchcraft. And it, the sin of witchcraft should be revised, the sin of definition. It's the same thing. And do you know they actually use the word Manasseh, Second Chronicles? It's properly rendered the British and American practice sorcery. Now, the Hebrew word for that is still Kabash. And 2218 Deuteronomy. It says about a witch, um, the sorcery. So this has been going on since... Before I, we were born. Y'all understand what's happening here? So this is a lot of little small reading. So I'm just going to keep on going. But here's the deal. This is what God was telling me. The only way you can come combat this stuff is through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You cannot do this on your own. Stop trying. Stop trying. But here's the deal. This is what I come to you this morning. God says, do not be in fear, but be in faith. Because once you get in fear, then the enemy can mess with your mind. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you have to stand boldly. Draw the bloodline. Say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to protect me. Any word curses, any word spells, Hicks, hexes, vexes, schemes, plots, plans. Let me tell you something. You have to pray the prayer and you have to be specific with it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You have to plead the blood of Jesus. You are not afraid. You are a strong man and woman of God. Come on, somebody, because the holy anointing breaks everything. It severs any time that you think something has been put over you. This is the prayer that you say, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I sever every demonic entity, every assignment in the name of Jesus to the root of that thing. And I I don't know if you're bold enough. You got to say it like I do. I send it back to the sender seven times. Ain't nobody playing with them witches and warlocks. You, you, you think they're playing with you? Oh, y'all better understand what time it is. This is a war for your souls and they're not playing. Because he knows if he can taint you spiritually, that you won't have no power. You understand what's happening here? What am I saying? This is, this is a, a warfare against God. 
and against the devil. We are for God and against the kingdom of darkness. They hate the kingdom of God, God says. God says, walk bold in this hour. He said, as I was with the disciples, I shall be with you. Cast out demons. He said, because at the word of my son, Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. If you can't even pray, say Jesus, because they got to move. Hallelujah. So you got to pray over everything. Y'all want to understand what's happening out there? You're not praying. You're not praying. I'm going to say it again. You're not praying. You got to get up praying. Go to bed praying. On the noonday pray. You better pray. You don't have time to be bickering with nobody and talk about what the devil doing. You better start doing. Hallelujah. Because that fool on his job. It's time for us to be on our job, thus said the Lord. And then someone, oh, it ain't going to take all that. Honey, it's going to take all that and some. Stop being lazy, said the Lord. Get up three or four o'clock in the morning when you hear the uh, when you feel the unction of the Holy Ghost. It's time to pray. And those that have a prayer language, you better be praying in your prayer language. If you don't have one, that doesn't mean that God is not using you. People need to stop that. Everybody is different, processed differently. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But I know it's praying time. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord. Pray without ceasing, said the Lord. Hallelujah. This is real. Hallelujah. You got to, we got to back them up, back them up, back them up. And how you back them up with the power of God, the anointing of God. And I got to tell you what God says. God says, stop touching the unclean thing. What is the unclean thing? Y'all know what the unclean thing, anything that sins and goes against the law of God, the commandments of God. Hallelujah. Point blank in the story. So that's all I want to get up on here and say and test everybody by the spirit. People are acting like they're of the Lord, but they're not. They're witches and warlocks. Test them at the door. Check it at the door. I'm going to tell you right now. And I'm not trying to be arrogant. I'm not letting nobody pass. I'm not letting nobody. I don't care who you are. We could be good friends. You could be a Christian. Ain't nobody getting no pass. You better come correct straight up because that's what Jesus did. He did not play. Not even with the disciples. Check that stuff at the door. Too many stuff getting past Christians. It should not. Be. Let me tell you something. I'm going to bring up something and I know y'all not going to like it. Do y'all remember when that guy Dylan shot up that church in South Carolina? Well, I was the first one to say it. Of course, Brian Carr, Prophet Brian Carr, whoever else stole my words. But I, put, I got on Facebook and I said this and I'm going to say it to y'all. How is it that that young man could sit there and nobody had discernment? Well, that's the same thing. I'm not trying to be insensitive because I know people lost their lives. But there is no way that a demon should be able to sit in your midst. Come on, somebody. Ain't no way a demon supposed to come in your home, come in your life, and you don't know. The devil is a lie. Where's your wisdom and discernment? Where's your anointing? Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying, huh? Because I'm going to tell you right now. Soon. I'm talking about soon. I'm like a radar. People think I'm crazy. Whatever. I bet you can't just come play with me. Y'all better start having a standard. I'm not playing. It's time. It's time, said the Lord. These people are not playing. The devil knows he has but a short time. So he's trying to take everybody with him. And I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's time to pray. Just like we're going on that liquid fast on the 21st. I know y'all say, well, I don't know if I could do that. You ain't even tried. Oh, I'm, I'm talking this morning. Hallelujah. Because truth be told, it's time for us to go back to old fasting with nothing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I promise you it's coming up. It's coming up. Well, I'm going to do a 40-day fast. Hey, if you don't, hey, hey, you know what? For you weak ones, don't even worry about it. And yeah, I said it like I said it because you're not going to die. Oh, trust me. As a matter of fact, it's been proven. Um, Dr. Miles Monroe, my mentor, um, they actually proved it that you can actually live without anything for 40 days. Now, you can't go more than 40 days. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. It's time to stand up, saints. It's time to roll out for real. You are a soldier of the end time army. You got to come up. You got to start praying and fasting like never before. If the apostles turn this world upside down, what are we doing for real? It's not about entertainment. It's not about money. It's not about houses. It's not about cars. It's not about who you can freak. Yeah, I say it like that because y'all Christians freaky. Yeah, I'm saying it. I don't care. I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell what God say to say. Y'all better get pure. Y'all better get pure. I'm going to say it again. Y'all better get pure. That's the only way you're going to be able to fight the demons. That's why he's trying to tame us all with all that sexuality, sensuality, all that stuff that's tainting people. You got to learn to say no. Hallelujah. 
All right. Well, God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. Walk like it. Talk like it. Act like it. Be like it. Walk in power, said the Lord. He said, my kingdom is not just in word, but in power. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless.